The next award is the Innovation in Philanthropy Award, sponsored by Greystone Programs and presented by Peter Sestito. Thank you, Peter. Good morning. I'm elated to present this year's Innovation in Philanthropy Award to Hudson Regional LTC Pharmacy. In 2010, several not-for-profit that cared for developmentally disabled joined forces and formed the pharmacy. This was because they could not find a pharmacy that appreciated the unique challenges involved in the care of this particular and sometimes forgotten population. Hudson Regional LTC Pharmacy is a mission-driven organization dedicated to improving the quality of life by providing pharmaceutical stewardship with caring, compassion, and commitment. Under the leadership of their CEO, Angelo Andrami, the pharmacy has provided financial support to agencies that provide services to the developmentally disabled throughout the Hudson Valley, including Greystone programs. In fact, since September of 2016, Hudson Regional LTC Pharmacy has donated over $300,000 to local agencies in need. And during the COVID-19 pandemic, provided over 12,000 pieces of personal protection equipment to many organizations. Angelo is extremely active in the community. And currently, Angelo volunteers as the Vice President of the Board of Directors of Greystone Program. And on behalf of all of us at Greystone, we are honored I'm very fortunate to have him. Angelo's commitment to the community is what makes Hudson Regional Long-Term Care Pharmacy deserving of this award. Congratulations, congratulations on Angelo and Hudson Regional LCC Pharmacy. Without further ado, I now hand it over to Angelo to tell us how excited he and Hudson Regional LCC Pharmacy are to be chosen for this award. Take it away, Angelo. Good morning, thank you, Peter. On behalf of the staff here at Hudson Regional LTC Pharmacy, I'd like to thank you for this award. To be recognized by the Association of Fundraising Professionals is truly an honor. I'd like to thank the folks at Greystone Programs for nominating us for this award. The care they provide is second to none. As Peter said, our pharmacy was founded in 2010 as a nonprofit organization created to meet the pharmaceutical needs of the developmentally disabled along with other people that require ongoing care. While we're no longer a nonprofit, we continue to be a mission-driven organization. On the first day of employment, all team members receive a copy of our mission statement. It hangs at many workstations. Supporting those we serve has been a part of our DNA since our inception. Whenever I gather our team together to make decisions, we always make sure patient outcomes drive the conversation. For us to provide financial support is really just an extension of the support we already provide. It's very humbling to be considered worthy for recognition by simply acting in a manner that's consistent with your mission, vision, values, and goals. It's validation that our team and supports what we already know, which is we make a difference. I suggest that all of us honored today can take comfort in knowing that working together we have a positive impact on people in the Hudson Valley that we all make a difference. I'm proud to be counted with the other award recipients. 2020 has presented perhaps the greatest challenge of our lifetime, COVID-19. It's more important now than ever for us to remember that people struggle and that the work that fundraisers and those that contribute to nonprofits in our area, that we change the lives of those people for the better. In closing, once again, I'd like to thank Peter Sestito and people at Greystone for nominating us and the Association of Fundraising Professionals for honoring Hudson Regional LTC Pharmacy with this award. Thank you. Thank you, Angelo, and congratulations again to everybody at the Hudson Regional LTC Pharmacy.